Well, first of all, we got a new judge assigned, and uh, this judge will have to either decide to hear the case or not. And I'm sure the Mueller people will make a motion to dismiss. Uh, I think our complaint has merit, and I think there's uh, sufficient grounds here for the case to be heard. So if uh, it gets rejected at the district court level, we'll immediately appeal it to the circuit court level. And if it gets rejected there, we'll go to the Supreme Court. I have no intention of stopping until we get the American people to understand the merits of my federal lawsuit, $350 million lawsuit against Robert Mueller and the Department of Justice and other departments, including the CIA, the NSA, et cetera. And uh, I expect to win this case, and I don't think we'll have any hesitation to keep on going until, if we need to, the Supreme Court hears the case. Let's talk about some other matters uh, surrounding the case. Uh, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has officially denied that he had any contact with Trump's uh, election officials, including yourself, Roger Stone, Donald Trump Jr. In a letter posted to WikiLeaks' Twitter page, Assange also uh, rejected the claim that he secretly met former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort at the Ecuadorian embassy in 2013, 2015, and 2016. Now, Dr. Corsi, what impact does all of this new information have on the Mueller probe and your case against him, if any? Well, I think this was extremely important. I mean, first of all, the fact that Julian Assange is now on the record that he had no contact with me and I had no contact with Julian Assange or WikiLeaks regarding the 2016 election or the release of the uh, stolen Democratic National Committee emails, particularly John Podesta's emails, this vindicates me. Uh, this, I think, proves convincingly I was not lying to the uh, Mueller uh, investigators, the three special prosecutors who interrogated me for 40 hours. I think if you, over two months, six sessions, it was grueling. But if you read the, the book or listen to the, I really prefer you listen to the iTunes or to the audio book on Amazon of Silent No More, because you'll see how central an issue was, how much I was grilled over and over again because the uh, special prosecutor's team really believed that I had a contact with Assange, and I was pivotal, because in their view, in the view of these prosecutors, I was going to connect uh, Roger Stone to Julian Assange, and Roger then was going to connect back to Donald Trump. That was going to be their entire Russian collusion linchpin. And uh, I affirmed that I had never had a contact with Assange of any kind. And, now Assange is saying, I'm telling the truth. I think it's extremely important. Dr. Corsi, when you finished those 40 hours of questioning, what was your feel for the temperaments of the FBI agents and Mueller's team? Were they frustrated with you? Do you feel like they tried everything they could to come at you and never really got what they wanted? Well, I think they were trying to force me to testify to a lie, something that wasn't true. And they did everything they could to break me. They get up out of the room and they say they're going to throw you in prison for the rest of your life because you forgot a few emails. They allow you to amend the testimony, then they forget that they allowed you to amend the testimony. They grill you in rapid fire fashion. They wanted me to remember specific emails, specific phone conversations. I told them I couldn't do it. I'm not a human tape recorder. By the time 40 hours and all these two months were finished and you're, on, you're under psychological distress, I went in there to cooperate with them. I turned over my computers, my laptops, my storage devices, my cell phone, my email, passwords, and user names, everything. And they treated me like a criminal yeah. because I couldn't give them a contact to Assange. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more live breaking news coverage, exclusive interviews, and videos from Newsmax TV, click subscribe on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to download the free Newsmax TV app for alerts. Newsmax TV, it's real news for real people.